The World Championship is the most prestigious tournament in competitive League of Legends. The best teams worldwide come together to fight for the Summoner's Cup and determine which region is supreme. With the exception of Season 8, Korea has dominated World Championships dating all the way back to Season 3. But prior to Korea asserting themselves as a league powerhouse, a surprising titan emerged on the world stage in Season 2. And that team was the Taipei Assassins. Please welcome the Taipei Assassins! Entering Season 2 Worlds, the focus was primarily on Moscow 5 and Azubu Frost. Moscow 5 was an absolute force coming out of Europe. It was a team of innovators. Diamond Prox was an originator of counter jungling, and Genja was never afraid to test out a unique build. And then there was Azubu Frost, a team led by Madlife who seemed to have homing skill shots, and Shy, who was no stranger to dominating the top lane. Behind all of these teams were the Taipei Assassins, who lurked in the shadows until the playoffs. They were one of four teams to qualify directly as regional champions, and as such, they immediately had a spot in the quarterfinals and waited for the group stage to come to an end. Their first opponent was the impressive-looking Najin Sword. They had swept their group, which included a stomp of CLG EU. Well, they want the turret on their side if possible. Like, this is an example right there where Prey is in there in minion range. He's going to initiate in. Let's see what they can do. Stabbable force and wild goes for off. Wicked is the focus that he gets out alive. Two members drop instantly. The damage is going down on the Nexus. Najin going up 2-0 and taking out Counter Logic Hero. Even though TPA had received a bye to the playoffs, they were still underdogs to the Korean squad of Najin Sword. Just in Game 1, it was clear that TPA was a threat. Toys dominated the early stages of the opening game as he crushed Najin's sword with his now famous Orianna. Now they have the Jace poke from Stigata Fire. Here's the Orianna! Oh, the ultimate pops across. Toys drops Prey down before he had chance to react to that one. He gets a second. Song's gonna get dropped as well. That's gonna be Combo picking up. But Watch is gonna get streamed down. A double kill. And that's gonna be the dunk. The second game between the two was infinitely closer. Praise Corky had built up a large stash of kills, but Najin Sword couldn't beat the global power of Stanley's Shen. If he's planning on just being passive and farming in the side lane, and he needs to catch up in lane, it could be really good. Oh, they've the top lane, they've hoped on towards Prey there. I'm not too sure if they got damage. The crescendo goes across. Will it be enough to send things around? The Shen ultimate coming in now. Can they catch up towards Prey? They're gonna have this first catch him out. They want this Stanley on him. And now Kane's gonna have to back away from this one. He has to. Paired with Mistake's Blitzcrank, TPA repeatedly caught up members of Najin Sword to win Game 2 and the series. Mistake's going to go for a hook through the wall here. Is it going to be a blind hook? He's caught back new! He's caught back new! Can he do the damage on him? He does manage to get a lead strike away. And Nilbos has gone aggressive. He's gone deep. Crescendo comes across. They do manage to shut him down. That's going to be Song also going in there. Manages to get the Morgana ultimate. But they get the power fist on towards Song. Song's going to get dropped. That's a double kill for Song. A win over Najin Sword was already huge for TPA, but their journey wasn't done there. Up next was an even tougher test. Moscow 5 was fresh off a 2-0 of their own over Invictus Gaming and were considered heavy favorites over the Assassins. In Game 1, it showed that the perception was correct. TPA was not prepared for the Evelyn pick of Alex Itch as M5 rolled to a 1-0 lead. Once TPA banned out the Evelyn, Moscow 5 fell apart. In Game 2, the Assassins won each and every lane on way to tying up the series. Game 3 was much slower, but the ending was the same. TPA's laning advantages led the way to another shocking upset. They will initiate this fight on. The turret goes down. Terry gets caught out. He can't even ultimate the crescendo, stopping them from using the abilities. Diamond Prox goes down. The inhibitor is open. The double kill comes out. Moscow 5 looking very grim right now. Taipei Assassins look to take down the last Nexus turret, and they will drop Moscow 5 for the League of Legends Championship playoff. There was one final test a best of five against Azubu Frost in the finals. Once again, TPA would drop the opening game and start the series at a deficit. As they did against Moscow 5, the Taipei Assassins fought back immediately. Not once, not twice, but three times. This to go, he's got the Oracle. He's trying to use as much as he can. Lil Ball's getting involved. Ace and the Hobby have walked off by Wu. Not the ideal target. Toys is gonna get ready. Toys goes down. First death of the game. That's going to be 
immediately realize the pressure is on. They're going to dive in. Stanley goes oh. launching in shot by Rapid Star instantly. Rapid Star, a rebirth will drop. Rapid Star goes down. Woom trying to pull something out here. Stanley with the ball on it. He's going to jump back on to Roland Woom. Woom going to get dropped. Dive by Assassin are destroying. One might say. And Shai is getting dropped already. BB on to a two shot. Barrage going across there. And that's going to be Cloud Temple ultimate across, but he did make manage to catch on towards Stanley. There's the Lulu ultimate, it's not enough. There is no damage coming out from Azumi Frost. Side by Assassin to do now. Oh, a shockwave! Full team Cloud Temple, BB brings up a kill on Jay's death. Shy goes down, Mad Life getting stripped. Oh, Rihanna brings up another kill. Side by Assassin are the season two world champions. They picked up a million dollars and the summoners come. They are victorious. What a fantastic sight. The team of Stanley, Lil Balls, Toys, BB, and Mistake did the seemingly impossible. The Taipei Assassins became the first team to have their name etched on the Summoner's Cup and will forever be remembered for putting together the greatest underdog story in League of Legends history.